Welcome along to our video tutorial series where we are learning how to create Minecraft worlds using Python code. In this video tutorial I'm going to show you how you can quickly make a row of houses. So if I just quickly spin around here you can see, I know it looks a bit ordinary because they're all the same house, but what you can do is write the code for one house, which we've already done in previous videos, and then use loops and functions together to create a row of houses. So you can start to make a little street. The way we do it is we open up our code from a previous video where we created a house. It could be the two-story house, which I'm using now, or it could be just the single-story house, whichever one you would like to use. Um, when you've got that open, I want you to save it into a new file. So I'm just going to go to my usual folder here, and I'm going to call it Row of Houses. And save it. Now, if I give that a run, Oops. I'll have one house on my screen, sorry, and it should empty the rest of the world. So there it is over there. That's my starting house. I'll just go for a bit of a fly so you can see it. So that's the code for one house, which we've used in a previous video. And what I want to do is repeat that code, say, another 10 times to get 10 houses in this street. So we can do that quite quickly. What we need to do is jump over to our code that we've already got. We're going to skip past all the building materials, the house dimensions, and the coordinates, and we're going to go to where we start actually building the house. I want you to make a little bit of a gap there, and I want you to make a function here. So to make a function, we need to, first of all, define the function, which means give it a name. So we're going to write DEF for this function, which stands for define function, and we give this a name, so we might call it um, house and we open and close a set of brackets and then do a colon. So that's just saying we've created a function now called house. Inside of this function, we want the code to build the house. So straight below it right now is all the code to build a house. What we need to do though is indent all of that code to show that it's part of the function. So you need to highlight it all. So I'm just gonna hold down shift and click right to the bottom. And that highlights all the code underneath the name of the function and if you press tab on your keyboard it indents it all so it gives you that little gap at the left hand side of the page so everything's been pushed across now and by doing that the Python knows or the computer knows that all of your code that has been indented is inside of this house function so it now knows that's the code to make a house if I run my code now that house will actually disappear okay it won't come back unless we call this function up. So we need to tell the code now that we want to use that function called house. So let's go right to the very bottom. And we're going to get outside of that function by just moving our mouse cursor back to the left hand side of the page. And if we write house bracket bracket, that's all you need to do to call up a function. So the computer will now know to go back up to where we define the function house. Here it is here and it knows to run all of the code inside of that function. Remember functions are just reusable chunks of code. So that will get one house built for us. Let's have a look. There we go, so the house is back. But as I said at the start of the video, we wanna build a street full of houses. We wanna build 10 of them. So the way we do that is use a loop. So we're gonna do for i in range 10. Put a colon and on the next line, your mouse cursor will become indented and that's when I want you to run house. What that is saying is we are going to run this function 10 times. So that should build 10 houses. The only issue is though they're going to be built on top of one another here so it's just all going to look like the same house has been built again as you can see here right now. So what we need to do is tell the computer we want to move across our z-axis in this case which moves us off this side over here to build the next house. So we need to, after we've called the house function up, is write z equals z plus, and I think they, each house is about six blocks across, so let's put a gap of about 10 blocks between each house. That way the next house will start 10 blocks over to the right. Let's give that a run and see if that works. There we go. Easy as that. We've just built a street full of houses, albeit they look exactly the same, but we built a street full of 10 houses which looks really cool with three lines of code. 
Okay, it's really simple. So we might want to put in a little comment down here that just says build 10 houses and back up where we made that function. It's probably worth putting in a comment that just says function to build one house. All right, so that's it. If you want to build a cool street quite easily in your Minecraft worlds, simply loop a function as many times as you need to and don't forget to tell it just to move along the either the X or the Z axis a little bit each time you run that function just so it has a space between each of the buildings. So that's an easy way to make a street full of houses um, by using loops and functions in Python.